Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today we have another Loot Crate Wizarding World unboxing. And based on this sticker, it has like a book five theme. I'm not sure what the theme is. Maybe Dumbledore's Army? We're gonna pop it open and find out. But I first wanna talk about this box. I think that Loot Crate did something different with their boxes because it feels and looks really, really nice. I mean, it has the exact same design, but it feels higher quality when it comes to like how it's manufactured. If you are new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We are happy to have you here. And a big thank you to Loot Crate for sending this box to show you guys. Let's unseal the box and see what's inside. You get first view. Dun 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 dun. Now, before we take, okay, there's a shirt in here. All right, it is a Dumbledore's Army theme. So I'll show you the box in a second, but what I wanna say is Loot Crate has been steadily getting much better with each box. I hope that continues to be true with this one. We'll find out when we look at the items, the creativity of them, how they were made. But first, take a look at what I'm seeing here on the box. So we have the Hogwarts crest here, and then the list of people who signed up to be in Dumbledore's army in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I will turn the box inside out to show you guys what the complete artwork looks like, but first, let's take a look at this top item, which is a t-shirt. Dun, dun, dun. It is Dumbledore's army. We have a stag up here. We are only as strong as we are united, which is, of course, is a quote from Harry Potter. We have Reducto, Stupefy, Expecto Patronum, some spells. This is a very colorful shirt. I'm not the biggest fan of the design. I don't know how to describe this artwork style, like old computerized or something like that. Very boxy. We have the Wizarding World logo up here, which is actually kind of cool. But I feel like there are too many colors on this shirt. We have the doorway to the Room of Requirement, and then DA down here, which stands for Dumbledore's Army. It has a very Weasley's Wizard Wheezes sort of a theme and look to it, like with some fireworks and sparks, and then two wands here, and just the color scheme in general feels very Weasley's to me. I say we put it on and see if we like it any better. I don't think that I like it any better on than I do off. This really isn't a shirt that I would wear, but there have been some fantastic Loot Crate shirts in the past, some of which I still wear all the time. And you may love this design, but for me, it's a miss. All right, we have a hat in here. We have an H for Hogwarts. Oh, cool, look at this. We have a snake and it says Slytherin on the back of the hat. And then on the front it says, you have friends here, you are not alone, which is a Dumbledore quote. Now these particular hats don't really look good. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Look at the bottom side of the hat rim. It has all four Hogwarts houses in that striped pattern. This is an awesome hat. Now, as I was gonna say, this style hat just does not look good on my head, but this is awesome. I love this design as well as the back. Would it be too crazy if the entire hat was in this design? I think it might be too crazy for my head, but I think it could look really cool on some other people's heads. This is a very cool pattern right here. All right, we have the next pin. I believe they're still in their magical places theme. All right, so Dumbledore's army, I'm going to guess the room of requirement is going to be the theme, either the doors or kind of just the inside of the room. It's not, oh, the hog's head. Yeah, that would have been another good choice. The Hogshead, which is where they have their first test meeting of Dumbledore's army. Now, the pin itself isn't great. This isn't something I would say, oh, Harry Potter all the way if I saw it. The only reason that I know it's Harry Potter is because it has a little sign with a hog on it that says the Hogshead. It doesn't look anything like the Hogshead pub. So this really isn't the greatest pin. But then again, we don't really see the Hogshead Tavern up close in the movies, if I'm not mistaken. So this pin could have been designed a little more creatively, but this does not say Hogshead or Harry Potter to me. All right, we have a big box here and a puzzle, a massive puzzle, holy cow. Oh, there's another item in there too. A thousand piece puzzle, and it has a pretty cool design, I have to say. This is the staircases of Hogwarts, and mixed within the staircases are various pictures, but the pictures are of different Harry Potter related items, glasses, Ravenclaw's diadem, golden snitches, lanterns, that sort of thing. So I like that different take on the staircases of Hogwarts. And this subtly screams Harry Potter, if that makes sense. Let's open it up and see what the pieces look like. I'm curious to see the quality of the pieces. Quality wise, this feels like the thickness of a normal puzzle. So that's a good thing. I would consider myself pretty good at 
putting puzzles together, but I don't necessarily like it. This one would probably be really challenging, so I might have to give this one a try. Keep an eye out on Instagram at the Potter Collector. If I do this puzzle, I will post a photo of it there. All right, this box here, it's a white box and pretty heavy actually. What on earth is this? <laughs> Okay, this is pretty fun. It's actually really, really fun. I think these are called beanbag toss. One of those beanbag toss games. It has these two stands here. And then on the front is the Death Eater dummy as well as Dumbledore's army at the bottom. And it sits on your table like this. And then there are four beanbags, one for each house. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. This is a clever idea. So they use the dummy to practice their spells on. We, as the consumers of this box, are practicing our beanbag toss game on the Death Eater dummy. All right, I realize this isn't very far away, but here we go. Oh, 10 points for Slytherin. Oh, zero points for Gryffindor. Oh, zero points for Hufflepuff. Oh. Zero points for Ravenclaw. Sorry guys, but Slytherin wins the house cup. I really like this item. This is kind of a fun, mindless thing that you could do if you're bored. Practice your beanbag toss. I like the design of it, the creativity of it. It feels well made. This is real wood, it's not particle board. I mean, this section is more like particle board, but the frame as well as the legs are all real wood. Fun design overall. And then the fact that you get all four houses in your little beanbags is very cool too. All right, there was one more item item in here and we have the cheat sheet and this is looks like a little notepad that says a proud member of Dumbledore's army it almost looks lenticular but it's not that's weird it's like a total wait is it lenticular all right either my eyes are doing something really weird or this is lenticular it probably doesn't show up on the camera at all but my eyes are telling me that's lenticular and I don't think it is but <laughs> it looks lenticular to me all right on the inside is oh it's graph paper so it's not a notebook it's a little book of graph paper for planning your next attack or evasion of your next attack while you are in Dumbledore's army now here's what's interesting about this box it's filled with items that would please a lot of people. A lot of these items are not interesting to me personally, but the quality of them is really good in my opinion. As well as the creativity. I mean, this hat is really cool. I like this a lot. And then this beanbag toss game is awesome, as well as the puzzle design. I mean, this is a big puzzle for a subscription box. Let's take a look at the box. I'm gonna turn it inside out for you and show you what it looks like. If you're new to Loot Crate, there's artwork on the inside of the box that allow you to fold the box inside out and then display on your shelves. So as you saw already, we have the Hogwarts crest as well as the list, the Dumbledore's army list, which features six of the big seven Harry Potter characters, Luna Lovegood, Ginny Weasley, Neville Longbottom, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. The seventh is Draco Malfoy, but he wouldn't be in Dumbledore's army. And then we have the silhouettes of those six characters here. So you could display this side of the box or you could display this side of the box. These make for great backdrops for your shelves or for wherever you are displaying your Harry Potter items. All right, let's look at the cheat sheet, which has the Wizarding World logo on the front. And the theme was Dumbledore's Army. We're stronger together. Team up and join the fight against the dark arts with this Wizarding World crate. This crate's magical loot includes the Dumbledore's Army t-shirt. Show off you're a proud member of the DA in this tee. Number two, the Dumbledore's Army Death Eater Cornhole Game. Cornhole, that's what it's called, not beanbag toss. Sorry, cornhole fans, my apologies. Hone your magical combat skills with this fun mini cornhole game. A very clever item to have in a subscription box. I really liked that. Dumbledore's Army Notebook. Write down everything you've learned as a student in Dumbledore's Army. Number four, the Hogwarts House Snapback Hat. Celebrate the friendships you've made in your house and beyond. Hogwarts Puzzle. Explore the Labyrinthian Halls. Labyrinthian Halls, I like that. Of Hogwarts with this puzzle. And the pin was the Hogshead Tavern. Meet up with your fellow DA members with this next pin in our Magical Places series. So once again, it was a good box, just not a great box for me personally. Creative items, just not items that I myself would use. Let's take a look at some favorites and least favorites. The favorite would be the Cornhole Game. Again, I think it's very creative, it's well made, it's real wood. They could have made this out of plastic, but they decided to make it out of wood. I like that they had 
all four houses for the bean bags. And this is just a fun overall item. Second favorite, I'm really debating between the hat and the puzzle. I really like this underside right here. The design is so cool. And then overall design and artwork on the puzzle itself, I think is very cool too. So these would probably share my second favorite spot. Least favorite is the pin, without a doubt. It looks nothing like the hog's head. It's like they just slapped a sign that said the hog's head on this so that they could get the hog's head in this Magical Places series. What about you guys? What did you think about this box? What were your favorite items? What were your least favorite items? What did you think overall? Leave a comment down below and let me know. If you would like to subscribe to Loot Crate, check the description down below for a link as well as a coupon code to save you 15% off of your subscription. That coupon code is Potter Collector 15. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?